Hello, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see GoFormative is uh, an assessment tool for teachers. It is a very nice tool and uh, it is very similar to other formative assessment tools like uh, Kohoot, uh, Socrative and Quizzes etc. The formatting meaning as you know, so creating or assessing uh, the periodical progress uh, during a course of time. This formative tool is very focused and is available at uh, www.formative.goformative.com. I repeat, it is available at www.goformative.com. So, if you want to enter into the Go Formative, we have to go to the browse, uh, browse bar, then we have to type goformative.com. So, the speciality of this tool is a teacher can see exactly what the students are doing while they are doing it. If we ask the students to draw a chemical structure of a water or uh, a parts of the flowers, the teacher can see how the students are doing as they are doing. The teacher can correct the students if they are doing wrong as and when it is required. It is so effective, isn't it? So now I am taking you to the Go Formative tool and we will see a small demonstration and how it will be working. So we have to go to the browse bar type www.goformative.com and click enter. So, so after typing the goformative.com, we are coming to the main console of console screen of this goformative tool. So here we can see uh, the formative, this is a logo, and the pricing, library, join code, login, setup, sign up. So these are some of the menu items. Besides, we can see the teachers, the students, the schools. So these are the different kind of the logins. You can log in or you, you can create an account in the capacity of students or as a schools. So these are the things. If you already have the account, simply you can click on the login. Or if you want to create, you can click on the sign up. So I'm clicking the sign up as what you want to create an account. I'm a teacher, so I can select this. If you are a student, you can select this so that uh, you can make use of the code which you have received from your teachers. Using that code, you can enter into that room. You can attend the given task, just like uh, Socrative or the Google Classroom. Now, I would like to go with this google so i can click this if i'm clicking this it will be asking my email id and the password i can give my email id password so once i'm given it will be creating one account so after creating an account you will be going to the formative okay now uh, i have already created one account now i am coming to this one so here if you are entering into the go formative this will be your the first screen after creating the login after creating your account All right so here we can see the this is a logo and the formatives classes and tracker library these are the menu items and this side you can see enter the quick code enter quick code in the sense if you already have one code any class code you can enter here so that it will be taking to that particular task particular room okay so this one is a premium and here it is a question mark you can ask any questions and here you can see your the dp by clicking this one pop-up menu showing account information your account information at the time of information what the details you have given that will be known to others so here you can see your account details your name and your email id and updated and this one and the position at school or you are a teacher or you are an instructor or what is your position so that can be mentioned so that others can view that and the grades to which grade you are teaching or this task has been created for which the targeted group you can select any one of these or you can select more than one also and here the subjects so no restrictions you can select chemistry computer science that depends upon you and you can give the changes then one more option also here the settings the settings the majority of the settings are available only for the premium users and what plan are you in the basic plan or you want to shift to the 
premium so here you can shift from basic to the premium so that you can get some more advantages the premium users i would pay the premium users i have to pay 15 dollars per month if you are going for a, a yearly basis some discounts also will be given that is up to you you just explore according to your requirement okay right and uh, we are coming back to this formatives here if you are clicking the formatives you can see this screen here already two tests are given two assignments of formatives are available it's already i created just for the sample at the beginning if you are creating a new account you won't see anything it will be simply vacant okay it's a empty window only you can see and the right side you can see all sort by these are the as usual things and the classes is nothing but you can create a new class here you are creating the formatives assignments that you want to give to your students the students will be accommodated in as a class right you can create a new class here or you can import existed google classroom students to this place or even you can bring the students from clever rooster so if you want to create the fresh one you can click on this we will see in the later by clicking this you can create so this one is a tracker you can see how the students are performing for example you are giving one assignment to the students the students are attending while they are attending you can come to this tracker lively on screen you can see how the students are attending right so what we did in the Socrative, if you are not uh, knowing the Socrative, just to go to my website, the YouTube channel, there you can see how the Socrative is working. The same way here also we can see, uh, at the same time, if the students are attending lively as and when they are doing, if the formula, otherwise the picture, they are drawing in the wrong way in the sense, you can click, you can go to the particular student and you can give the instructions. Like, so like you can interact with the students when they are doing live exam okay so this is the one of the speciality of this go formative and uh, here you can see the students the students all students otherwise you can selectively select the students so they only will be tracked such kind of the activities also available and these are and here you can export that means you can import in the cva csv form so that you can take to uh, take that imported file to excel for further analysis so these are the options available here and library if you are satisfied with your created formative that can be shared with others outside world other the teachers not only in your school you can share it to the global teachers so it will be going to the library they can see they can pick up they can take that they can make use of that uh, you are uh, created formative assessment right so the same way if you are coming to library you too can select any one of the existed any of the existed assignments formatives and you can make use for your class okay so this is the library and we are coming back to the formative now i am going to create a new formative right so click that new formative so this is the first step after clicking this if you want to give the test the test name you can give uh, for example i am giving social test i am naming this as a social test okay automatically that will be saved and here you can see the three icons three buttons one is edit of course we are in the edit mode and assign mode is the next you can assign the edited one to your student you can see the responses how they are doing lively okay so this one the right side you can see if you are creating if you are giving if you are creating one assessment one uh, the formative uh, the screen formative questions you want to see how it will be looks like when the students are using so if you are clicking this it will be availing us it will be showing how it will be looks like if they are using on mobile phone or uh, the tab or even on the computer so this is how we can see just like a preview and here the three bullets three dots are here you just click that so that you can see more options so here you can see the join instructions initially if you want to give any join instruction to the students you can make use of these instructions and set a formative type the formative type what are the purpose you are creating as an assignment or the benchmark or the classwork or exit sleep so like that this so these are the different kinds of uh, 
the types available you can select any one of that accordingly you can prepare that okay so now i am going with the assignment i am done so that can be set with help of this set formative type and the customizing header so this one is a social test not only only one test you can create more number of tests the social test always i want to maintain the background as a green the match i want to the put as a the pink like that the color coding also can be given okay so like that you can uh, do some creativity for look and feel to your students right by clicking this customize header that opportunity will be coming to our choice we can choose any colors that depends upon you and uh, you can if you want to put any background images that also possible i am selecting this and that also will be coming to in this place so they can see that image on the screen okay right then if you want to change the image no issues you just click once again you select another one and say done next picture will be coming to the screen okay so this is a way you can change the background of your the test right the customize in the header now after creating uh, the formative if you want to share with your co teachers you can click that the link will be created this link can be forwarded shared with your teachers co teachers so that they can make use of this created formative tool okay and the next one is the grade passbook the grade passbook generally available for the the premium users that is not for the free users of course the grade book also can be maintained that can be availed here and this one is the printout you can take the printout of the formative assignment so that you can have it just like a pdf the reference for your personal purpose so this is the these are the items available here now we are going to construct some question here by clicking this plus symbol it will be giving some the wizard here we can see the various items what are the components we can add so here we can add the content so these are the contents and these are the questions okay it's a blue colors so these are the contents uh, and this one is a grade it's not active no so yellow star is there so this symbol this star showing indicating that this is the paid option if you are the pro user then only it will be getting activated otherwise only one two three these are many things we can use here also audio each and every questions are wherever you are it is appropriate you can add some audio instructions right so here it is a uh, embedded the html codes can be placed at the place the the code will be uh, the bringing that particular information to your assessment right like that in the image see if you are clicking the code here on uh, the paste and iframe this is a html code can be pasted here otherwise if you don't want if you have any uh, uh, html code you can make use of this otherwise you can remove this and you can go to the next one you see i am selecting image so if you have any image if you want to add any image you can add that image clicking that image i think that also not activating right i can click on the image the image can be from your local computer or from your google drive so i am going to pick up this image to this place the image embedded onto my place so if this is an uh this is uh the image based on that if you want to construct any questions you can bring that based on that you can construct some questions okay and so th that is how we can bring the image for example i will try one more image right right and uh, so this is the picture so based on this picture 
through this picture i want to convey some information to my students okay saying that you concentrate the picture based on that picture we can ask some question just like a comprehensive type okay that is the meaning of the embedding pictures next i am going to text by clicking text the text box will be coming on to my screen here i can type okay so this is a instruction i am giving to the students like that this is the purpose of the text box next time clicking on that video i can bring any local video or i can bring from any youtube video so right now the youtube video or the vimeo are from google shared link i am going to this place this is on video is here i am getting uh, the copy link address i am back to my place back to my the formative here i am pasting okay so this is the link and update that so that video coming to my screen so that one more the text can be added here key points okay so like that we can give some instruction to the students and the whiteboard is there the whiteboard here the whiteboard here we can edit and the edited things can be copied to the students see the color also can be changed i am taking blue color and changing the pen the fill shapes or a dashed one i can select that so that i can do and if you want to put any symbols you can select that you can put the symbols if you want to put any urls or any uh, the image okay so that image will be coming to this whiteboard and you can say that add image that image will be coming to this screen or if you want to move you can move that so these are the different activities we can do with the help of this whiteboard and the same thing you can by clicking this tick mark it will be embedded in your the formative screen creation right now we are moving to the next one here it is a essay question i am clicking that here i can say right so open right so what are the marks you want to give as this is a essay question i can give two marks otherwise five marks or even 10 marks that is up to you if you don't want this you can click this so that it will be deleted and if you want to go add any answers the key answers otherwise some information to the students that can be added here or you can move to the next one here is a selection select a standard set if you want to follow any standards state standards otherwise your university standard otherwise your institution standards you can mention here so that is the purpose of this one this one is available only for the the pro users the paid users okay now i am coming to the multiple choices multiple questions also can be created and uh, if you change your mind you can come back to the multiple solution or chat answers you can true or false that is up to you okay so during the editing also you can change the type of the question white color requires more care true or false so true is the answer you can click this we can move to the next question and this is a multiple choice you see so what are the flower names i am giving milly and lily and uh, silly okay so out of this you have to select the flower name right so this one is the answer and uh, so as is a multiple choice you can give one more flower and one more flower rose okay so both the things should be selected as the answer multiple choice i am taking this as a multiple selection okay so multiple selection i can give uh, the questions and uh, choices and rows 
so these are the right answers right and you can move to the next one the multiple selection multiple that is what we are doing now and the short answers the same way the short answers also can be given mm, right any two colors of our national flag with implied the meaning right so that they can write something about that colors and uh, if you want to give any choice or a hint you can do that otherwise you can do the next one so this one is the show your work so show your work in the sense we can ask the students okay so that they can draw and one more place one more thing uh, draw its parts okay right so that they can draw and they can share it so this one is a true or false that already we have done that okay now i want to see how this questionnaire will be looks like if the students are using we can click on this preview you can see so this is the 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 laptop right desktop so this one is the smaller in size it's a other uh, tab so this one is the mobile phone view okay right so here i'm coming back to the screen here i want to see the responses okay so uh, before that i want to start a formative go formative dot com here i want to enter into the room as a student so the code should be given to the students now here we have the code i'm closing this for a while and we are coming back to edit mode the edit mode is already over no so this is done right so after completion that we can go to the assign so here you can assign or you can invite the students so add new class if you want to create a new class you can create a new class or if you want to bring the student uh, students from the the google classroom otherwise some other place you can bring them right so let us start to create a class so this classroom test class okay the class and abbreviation tc is the abbreviation and which grade you are targeting i am targeting higher education and what are the subjects uh, you can say any subjects i am selecting social and science and what is the color theme you want to i want to go with the green okay and create and create now you can see this is the code so what is the code atm you can make note of this code atm za 9v right so this code can be copied and you can share it with your student so once we are assigning the test to the students using the code they can enter and they can give their test so here we can enter the students we can allow the students uh, as a guest so now we are moving to the test the social test that we have already forwarded to the students just by clicking the assign we can assign the student see i have selected the guest students and uh, we have assigned so the code also created and uh, see the code has created that code can be forwarded to the students so using the code they can give their test now we can go to the tracker so in the tracker we can see how the students are attending in a live way so the test can be assigned to the students this is a test class and the guest students is already given 
and restrict to individual students. So these are the the pro versions, pro options. After submissions, keep visible, no edits allowed. So this can be selected or allow edits. So anyone we can select. Even if you can, you can uh, select allow edits or make it hidden or achieves and uh, return score. Don't show the scores. Instantly we can show the score or don't show the score. We can instantly we can show the show score. Return correct answers. The correct answers also can be written. Don't show the answers. That is, you can select up to your one. Uh, finally, you can give the update. That uh, configuration configuration will be assigned. Now we can go to the the view responses. So that here we can see the responses. See, this is the students. They are in the progress. Now we can see that. And this also can be minimized so that we can accommodate more students. We can accommodate the more students lively. What they are writing, we can view on the screen. And you can come to the second screen. You see, these many students already attended attending right now. And the third question. So this is the third question. And these students are, you can hide the name by clicking this. We can hide the name or we can see the names. And this is uh, about the fourth question and the fifth question and the sixth question. See, the fifth question, the students are writing uh, their formula. As in when they are writing, we can see that. Uh, in case, if you want to see this, you can write good. Good going. And we can send the feedback to the students. So, this is how we can send uh, we can interact with the students, okay? And uh, in case if you are coming to the next students, we can type, we can give the feedback. Okay, so uh, the interaction also possible as and when the students are attending the test. You can come to the sixth one here, you can see draw a picture of a flower and a market parts okay so like that we can interact with the students So it is very nice to see the students art. We just we can enter and we can interact. So this is how we can see how the students are attending. See this is about the total. We can see the total. How many uh, the questions they have been attended are this is the open questions and we can see the percentage and close and how many uh, what is the percentage of their attendance so this also we can see so these many students are attending right now right so this is a percentage wise and this is point wise how many points they scored and this name we can start in a to z or z to a you see now we can start like this and at the end of the test, I see this is about this uh, the first question. This is about the second question, and how many students are attending? That also we can see at a stretch. We can accommodate the more students by minimizing this, or we can see the big picture by using this decreasing increasing this button. Okay, and uh, see. Now, it's a 38, 38 percentage out of 13, 5 students. So, this is the score, only 5 percentage. So, this one is 10 percentage. This one is 8 percentage. Totally, 
35 percentage here okay right so this is about the fourth question we can see how they are writing along with the name and this is about the fifth question and we can send the information to the students if you want to give any points you can give the points to should less than one so we can give 0.5 points okay right so this is all about ongoing live exams and this is the total marks and here we can export this button can be used if you are clicking this you can say this is export is possible only for the the paid users the pro users so this one a to z z to a the ascending descending can be done and we can hide and we can show the names and we can go about one by one questions okay so this is how we can do that i'm coming back to edit you can see and the edit the questions and other things this is the assign we can give we can attend the students by selecting the guest students so this one is simply we can give this code here you can see this is a guest code so anyone can uh, go to the goformity.com and they can use this code they can attend, attend this code attend this test instead if you want to invite only google and the classroom students you can invite import them to uh, this test by selecting this one right so if you are selecting this you can go to the place and you can invite the particular students from the class okay so this is how we can use go uh, go formative as a very good assessment tool and uh, i think we already i guess we have discussed the required uh, the information here and i hope you will be using this tool in an interactive way to energize and uh, motivate our students right so now we are closing the test and here we can see the test score also the nine students submitted and you can click on this you can adjust settings so this is for the uh, setting and here these are the remaining set remaining the assignments if you want to go with this assessment we can load this like that we can use this okay i hope we have done uh, the go formative tool thank you for watching